Slack demo in 2021, how to use Slack for small businesses and project management. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to get started on Slack, how you can use this as a communication tool and what features does Slack provide. So let's get into it. First off, I'm going to go over the basic features of Slack and then I'm going to go over their pricing and then we're going to create our account. So first off, Slack provides you with different channels. It provides you with Slack Connect where you can collaborate with other teams as well. You also have messaging functions, calls, and video calls. So after that, you also have a general application and integration uh, feature that by which you can streamline your work. You can also have a workflow builder, which will automate daily actions. For example, if you have uh, a task that is first completed by a sales manager, then it is forwarded to a marketing manager, then these kinds of little functions can be automated. Then you also have file sharing functions as well. Now, moving on to the pricing of Slack. Now, Slack is available for free as well, in which you will get access to 10,000 of your team's most recent messages. You get 10 integrations and you have one-on-one -on -one voice calls and video calls. After that, they start at almost $7 a month with their pro version. The pro version is going to include a full context of your messaging history. So all of your messages are going to be available whenever you want to access them. You also get unlimited integrations and that is a huge plus point on the pro version of Slack. You also get face-to-face -face communication with the group voice calls and video calls for up to 15 members. Now, this is kind of disappointing that they did not include unlimited members over here because uh, with applications like Microsoft Teams and Zoom, you can easily do unlimited member voice calls and video calls. So that is something that Slack has been slacking off on, if I must add the pun. Now, next up, we have secure collaboration with outside organizations or guests within Slack. So if you want to collaborate with another company or business, you can easily do that via Slack and have all of your communications be run through the application without having to do the burden of integrating into a different application or having to constantly send in emails between each other, which might not even be timely delivered. Now, next up on Slack, you have a Business Plus version, which includes advanced security. They have advanced identity management. They also have a real-time Active Directory, which syncs in with one login or Okta or ping identity. So if you are a very exclusive business and ranking in your business is something that is highly, highly coveted behind, you might have security issues, you might have identity issues, and you cannot have any kind of issues in these regards. If these are some of the pivotal points of your business, make sure that you opt for the business plus for almost $13 a month because security is going to be something that can easily be uh, tampered with in online communication. So that is why I would suggest that you skip the pro version altogether and opt for the business version if you're ever wondering to upgrade your Slack account. Then you also get around the clock teamwork and assistance with a 99% guaranteed uptime. You also get 24 seven customer support and a 24 hour response time. Now let's get started on Slack. We are on the homepage and we're gonna click on sign in. And it's very easy to create your account on Slack. You can use your Google account, your Apple account, or you can use a email. I'm just going to sign in with Google. Now you can see over here, I have been logged into my Slack account. And on the left, you have a general tab, which gives you your basic workspace. You can create different workspaces within Slack to manage different projects. Then you have a Slack connect option where you can browse Slack, your entire Slack account for any uh, unread messages, your DMs, any kinds of mentions or reactions, or any save items you can also have open up your channel browser and find a specific channel then you have a file browser so if you're looking for a specific file within all of your channels you can do that and then you have a people and user groups and then a application integrator now you can see over here on the left i have my channels all of my channels and this is just a slack template that i loaded up to show you guys what a basic slack account is going to look like then you have your direct messages and you can add teammates over here and you can invite them directly to this Slack workspace. Now, on your top right, you can see your own account status. You can change and update your status as well. And this is a very, very good application because you can integrate your Google Calendar and a lot of people do use their Google Calendar to schedule their workflow. You can automatically update everything with your Google Calendar and I find that instead of constantly having to change your status over here, you can just integrate your Google Calendar and automatically be um, updated on your Slack account as well. 
Now on your account settings as well, you can pause your notifications if you're working on something and you can change your active or inactive status as well. Now, if you were to create a workspace on Slack, you're just gonna click over here and then you can click on add workspaces and you're gonna click on create a new workspace. Now you are going to enter your email. Now I'm just going to confirm my email. And now you can see I am going to create my new workspace. I have verified my account. And first off, you're going to get started with your company name. So let's just say we're doing pro marketing and you're going to click on next. Then you can add any specific project campaign event that you're currently working on and that you're trying to finish or accomplish. Or you can just add a, a simple monthly based project. So you can just add October. And then you can add everything that needs to be accomplished within October and add channels for that. I find that to be a better organization system. Now you're going to add any teammates. I'm just going to add myself because it's going to help you guys estimate what a teammate is going to look like. So I'm going to add teammates. And now you can see Slack is creating my workspace or my messaging space now. In terms of what this application really is, Slack is basically a combination of both a project manager and a communication application. I would best describe it as probably a overlap between Discord and any project management software that you have used. So you can see over here, let's go. Now, Slack has created just these empty little channels. First off, they create a automated channel named General. Then you have October and Random. Now, if you want to create a new channel, you're just going to click on this plus icon. You're going to click on create a channel and then you're going to add if this is a marketing channel. So let's just say marketing analysis or let's say new project or new launch and then you can add a description then you can make it private or public now this is depending on what kind of team you're running if you have a new product that is only um, known by a few of your teammates then you're going to make it private and a private channel cannot be made public later on that is something to keep into consideration once you set a channel to private only people that are invited into your channel can be a part of it you can't have a later onwards you know uh, making it public to the entire workspace you can't do that at all so I'm just going to leave this as public and then I'm going to create this. And now you can also create this specific channel to your entire account, but I would not recommend you create channels like that because that can usually result in overlapping and you're going to get confused between your own work as well. Now you can choose to add all the members of pro marketing or you can add specific people as well. And uh, that's also just making the channel private. So. I'm just going to click on join and now everyone has access to this channel. They can just say hello over here. You have your shortcuts, you have uh, basic fonts, you have hyperlinks as well, and you can add and attach files here as well. Now within your specific channel, you also can view your members, you can view your integrations. So you can upgrade to see more options of workflows. Uh, let's say if you want to automate certain attachments, like if someone sends an attachment, you want a attachment to be forwarded to a specific person, you can automate features like that. You can also add applications that you're already using. For example, you're maybe using Google Drive, Trello, any of those other project management apps. And I would suggest that you do integrate a project management application to your Slack application because that is going to help you in communicating between team members, which is something that project management softwares really are not good at. Now you can integrate whatever you're using for your business. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to skip that. And what I'm going to do is show you guys after your integrations, you can also choose to archive a channel for everyone so if a project is completed you're going to archive it or you can even choose to delete it you can also do calls and enable notifications or disable them according to your needs this has been like a general overview of slack i will have a detailed video on how to set up a client um, communication portal on slack and i will leave that in the description box below and i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to set yourself up on slack and i will catch you guys in the next video.